Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead with your Celtic cross reading for the sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, I hope you all had a great uh, Valentine's Day for those who did celebrate with their lover. And we're just going to jump right into this. Spirit, let your will be done in this reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for clarity, insight, and guidance for the next two to three weeks. Thank you, Spirit. That was blessed. We're going to take it. I pray before the reading as well. Please bless the cutting of these cards. We trust you in all things and all ways. Thank you, Spirit. All right, I love to see this. All right, Aquarius, so bottom of the deck card, we have the Ace of Swords. So this is a new beginning. This is truth on our side. This is clarity. This is being really sharp, precise, knowing what we're talking about, things being made right. If they were made wrong in some kind of form or fashion, that's going to be fixed. So this is a blessed, beautiful card of a new beginning and being very, very clear. Okay, next card we have, and cutting out what does not belong, <laughs> and that could be a new beginning to start something new and fresh, and it just shows right here, the Eight of Pentacles, so we could be working this week, working, you know, mentally, physically, and spiritually, maybe we got a new work opportunity, a new job, or we're going to the next stage in our work, but all in all, a blessed, abundant card for working and putting it in that time. The next card, this is the judgment card. So it looks like we have a crossroads decision where we have to make a decision for ourselves, the right decision. And if we do, spirit will bless us. This is like answering the call. And a lot of times I get this card and we're not sure why certain things happen. It's spirit showing you it's because they made it happen. So it could be a spiritual judgment in your favor this week. Very beautiful. Next card. So we got the seven of cups, and this is all about, you know, choosing correctly, choosing something that's more suited to you, something that, you know, something you're not doing for someone else, but you're doing for you. A lot of times we do things for other people. We choose certain things and situations that we wouldn't normally choose, and we're choosing it because someone of someone else or for someone else, but it's for us. So just be mindful that you choose something for yourself of substance and something that matters over something trivial trivial or something more long lasting okay over here next card we got six of swords so looks like we could be leaving the situation you know could be leaving a job could be leaving home could be leaving to go start a new life path but all in all it looks like we will be getting out of dodge here soon next card Ace of Wands. So not only did we get the Ace of Swords, we got the Ace of Wands. So we're super magical and super sharp and clear. This is a beautiful combination of a new beginning, starting new and fresh, and having the creativity and the inventiveness that it takes. So whatever we're about to do, looks like we'll be very magical and very sharp and clear and have like the truth on our side, God's truth on our side. So it's like we can't lose in this new beginning. So get ready <laughs> to produce a lot of beautiful magic. Next card, nine of wands. So we've been given our all in a situation, not seeing our worth. You know, this is the wounded warrior giving all he has. And he's like, I just don't see an end in sight. You know, I need a break today. And so this is like taking a pit stop to gather yourself and start back on to get that 10th wand so you can be done with this cycle. And this is very trying at times. Some people get stuck here and stay here and don't move on to that 10th wand. So just make sure you use this as a pit stop. Get ready to move on to something better for yourself. But just know <laughs> you're putting in all that work. You got nine wands you stacked up and all you need is one more to complete this cycle. Okay. It does show you need some time out, some self solitude and you know to get back to center whether you're meditating whether you just you know just relaxing for the day you need that you deserve that so take that time out for yourself okay and this is a blessed card of showing you you know to reconnect to spirit today 
and all throughout these next two weeks, two to three weeks. We got another leaving card. So we got the eight of cups, something's missing, and we're going after what's missing. So it looks like that's why we're getting out of Dodge, whether it be something in work, whether that be looking for love, or like I said, a new life path, something's missing. And you can tell by how those cups are stacked up, that gap in between, and he's going after what's missing. So we could all be doing that, or some of us could be, Aquarius. Okay, so this one is working very hard in this situation. Could be at work, it could be at home, could be in a few things, but we've got two work cards and it's showing him stacking up a lot of pinnacles, showing himself that he is worthy and that he is capable, but at the same time, he's not feeling like he's getting what he deserves in a situation, but it looks like it could be harvest time because he's building up all these coins. So, you know, maybe... It's time to leave and go look for other work or, you know, whatever you're doing, you're not seeing your worth, be it in a relationship, but it looks like it is harvest time. So we'll get some other clarity on this because you got those two aces. So it just may be about you seeing your worth internally and, you know, you're just not seeing it externally or in some form or fashion. So looks like you could be leaving to go after what's what's missing and what man you like to get your worth that you're not getting okay next card <laughs> wow look at that so the page of pentacles this is all about starting new and fresh in a situation be that a new work venture be that some kind of career opportunity some kind of new change in work, but you're feeling new and fresh in that, and you're about to begin a whole new cycle in work and money and, you know, building upon that coin, but it's like you want to. You want to know all you can know. You want to soak it up so you know it like the back of your hand, and it's this blessed abundance so you can start to see your worth in a situation that's mentally, physically, and spiritually, and I think, you know, you're leaving Maybe a department, maybe home, maybe, you know, you're going elsewhere to get this pinnacle. Okay. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. This is what we want to see. And so we got a lot of pinnacles here. After not seeing your worth, looks like you're about to. You know, you got the page of Pentacles, a new work opportunity. Shows you've been working hard. God sees that and they want to bless us. So, it looks like that's what's going to happen. We're going to get some kind of golden opportunity, maybe some kind of advancement at work or a whole new job. We'll see here in the next couple couple weeks for ourselves. And we got the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So we got all these Pentacles, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. That's God money. <laughs> we got the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. And then we got the page of pentacles and the knight. So some kind of offer could be coming in for us where we're going to make more money in a new situation. But all in all, this is abundance all around. If you see all these coins, all these pentacles we got, <laughs> God is talking to us about money. So we should be abundantly blessed in this next two to three weeks. Next card, hermit. So, yep, not only did you get the... Uh, Four of swords, well, we need to take a break today. <laughs> you got the nine as well. <laughs> Feeling like a wounded warrior, giving your all to a situation. This is all about that. This is all about going within and remembering your divine connection. Feeling spiritually blessed again, recharging, that sort of thing, and becoming illuminated from within. A lot of times we're so external doing this and that. But we need to reconnect internally, spiritually, divinely within. And then we get our power back. We remember, oh, yeah, I'm a spiritual being and I have a purpose here. So that's the power of doing that and reconnecting. And it shows a queen of wands. So this could be you or you could be around the queen of wands. If this is you, you're very magical, very dynamic. You're very attractive. You're bringing all kinds of manifestation right before your feet, <laughs> you're very magical. So you can bring anything to you that you want and attract it. And so this one right here, she's the life of the party as well. So you could be having a really good time with her. Okay. And you got 
the Ten of Wands. So you got the Nine to the Ten of Wands. And this is what I was talking about here. You know, use this as a pit stop so you can complete this cycle. It shows also that you're about to celebrate. So you're moving on from what was to what will be. And it shows you're getting out of Dodge to go after something better for yourself and what's missing. And it looks like it's going to bring in this golden opportunity. Could be coming from this night. And you could be feeling new and fresh in your money in this new situation after not seeing your worth. But you're working hard and you know you are and you're getting all kinds of tasks done. It looks like this night sees it and wants to bless you. And that could be the celebration that's coming in. So all in all, <laughs> this is a, you know, a judgment in your favor by the hand of God. And so you can't really lose. You know, you're doing everything you need to be doing, Aquarius. So give yourself some credit. Get ready to celebrate. This is a new beginning <laughs> on magic on the magic side of things and the clear and sharpness and true side of things. So you are truly blessed in this next cycle. Thank you all so much. Blessings, y'all. Bye, y'all.